from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of DockerCon Live 2020. Brought to you by Docker and its ecosystem partners. Okay, welcome back to the Cube Studios. This is where DockerCon 2020 headquarters is. I'm John Furrier, your host, Jenny Bercio, and Peter McKee and Brett. Fisher on the Captain's Channel. We're all kind of bringing it together and helping transition between the segments. We have live streams going on on all the sessions, all the main keynote stream here, the Cube stream. Also, all the videos will be on demand. And so we're going to help bridge the gap. I want to bring in Peter McKee, who's with developer relations and part of community with Docker. Peter, uh, great to see you. So far, so good. Things are rocking, yeah. chat is, is happening. People are engaging, great conversations happening. And certainly you guys done a great job with the content. Yeah, it's going great. It's going great. Very excited. Just finished up. Uh, just finished up my talk. Had almost ten thousand live live streamers in. James Governor, of course, the cube we believe as well. These remote first virtual events, kind of a social experiment given the current pandemic crisis we're in. But the new reality will be more hybrid, more digital interactions. It's going to impact the community. We heard that from Deepak. He's talking about you know, the things that Amazon's doing with Docker. We got the next panel, but we're going to talk more about innovation in the open. But this new work environment is not necessarily new to developers. Developer first, remote first, virtual first, whatever you want to call it, has been a normal. People have been working at home, but you're just going to start to see more engagement. You're starting to see the commentary come in. People are engaged, they're leaning in. What's your take on some of the commentary so far? Um, and what should people pay attention to for the rest of the day? What are the highlights? Yeah, yeah, I think it's I think it's great. I mean, as you mentioned, I've been working from home for close to ten years now. Um, uh, uh, developers uh, uh, thrive at home, I believe, right? You know, it's a it's a lot of deep work that you have to focus on. Um, but then open it up to the community around the world. Uh, the, uh, the Docker community is very important to us uh, to be inclusive. Um, I love that the price tag for this virtual conference is free. Um, so earlier in my talk, I mentioned had people from all around the world able to join. So that's that's very, very exciting. Uh, the the barrier to entry has been lowered down. Um, yeah, bunch of great talks coming up. Um, everything from Compose to um, Kubernetes to building it. You know, just just all of all around developer tools and helping them accelerate how they build apps. You know, we had a phrase when we started SiliconANGLE in the Cube ten years ago extracting the signal from the noise. This is a very pa action packed program, but it's very well organized. You have tremendous response from the community. You can't beat the price tag free while matching good engagement. And it's really a testament to the sponsors for stepping up. Thanks Amazon, Microsoft, Nginx, Cockroach Labs, and Sneak, as well as the community ecosystem partners, and also the people that submitted talks. Really amazing program. Hey, this is a new, new model. We love yeah. it. So more of it, bring it on, right? <laughs> What's, oh, yeah. How do you yeah. get your arms around this? Yeah. It's, your world's going to change significantly. Yeah, yeah, and, and to that note, I mean, I was involved in picking out the, the talks and reviewing everything, and we just had an outpour from the community. Everybody, you know, Docker has a great community. I know I mentioned it before, but they really do passionate about the community and the tools. About three years ago, I was having lunch with a friend of mine and he worked at Docker. And uh, he mentioned to me, hey, we might have a position that you would be a good fit for. And uh, in true nerd fashion, I was very giddy and uh, jumped on the opportunity to come in. These, these are my uh, developers are my people, my, my uh, you know, I, I just love being here. It's glad to see Docker's focusing back on developers. But um, and to that point, we're opening up and going to be uh, announcing soon uh, a community content contribution program. So really looking for the community to help, um, help us build out a world-class learning center. Um, so look for that coming very soon. And a lot of good stuff happened. Our next panel is going to come up in a few minutes. We've got a couple more minutes to kind of riff on, on, on the situation here, but the, it's, it's called Innovation um, with Open Collaboration. Kelsey Hightower, we got some great talks. Uh, Michelle Norali from Microsoft. You got Chris from the CNCF. You got a really nice community going on in this cloud native world. You got this new developer, um, you know, Lyft. I mean, it's always been developers, 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 but now more than ever, there's a lot of a lot of passion and new things emerging. This is going to be a big part of the community's involvement and participation is critical for them yeah. to be part of the process. So transparency, yeah. these are the things that are important are tried and true methods of open source. And again, this is not not changing the Docker pioneering containers as Docker goes to the next level. 
with the pivot from the business model, what, are, what should people know about the community? What are you guys trying to do? Yeah, I mean, you're right. From the very beginning, Docker has been very focused on the community. We started as open source uh, and that's never gone away. Um, you know, our captains are incredible for uh, as advocates for Docker, for teaching great, great content. Um, I, I, you know, we, we have a very interesting profession where um, you can go online and find a bunch of free content. Um, and sometimes the barrier to get started is a little hard, right? You get confused, don't know how to get started. The, the community can be rough um, for people coming into it. And there's various reasons for that. Not all are very valid, but you know, Docker wants to be an inclusive community where if you're just starting out with Docker Run or why containers, we want to be able to help. And not only just containers, but just developers' tool sets, right? Making it easy to go from code to cloud as simple as possible. Um, and we really feel that, you know, Docker's kind of the, the, the car there, the engine that we're on, runs on the freeway, right? And other tools plug into that and can help us deliver that code. And we're going to partner with the ecosystem partners, but um, yeah, we're really looking for the community to, to help build tools, to help get involved around content, training, all those things for sure. You know, what I love about um, software and the industry has evolved is as it gets more complex through its evolution, the abstraction layers of innovation that can simplify and take away those complexities has really been always the, the formula of success. Whether it's a tool or a platform or now horizontally scalable cloud technology with vertically integrated data science and AI and whatnot, you have all this perfect storm for development. So, you know, when you look at, when you look at all the action happening, this puts the developers front and center again, again and again and again, seems to be the theme. Docker, you know, you can't go wrong with you guys formula of making things cool, relevant, and easy to use. That seems to be what developers want. Whether they're in the plumbing in the lower end of the stack or just coding away and, and banging out great apps, no matter yeah. where you are, that's the formula of success. Cool, relevant, easy to use. Yeah, hundred percent. If you look at great technology companies, that's what they do. They raise the level of abstraction and, and let you go up and down that extraction very easily. So. Um, it's very interesting. First time I saw the demo of uh, Solomon doing, you know, a Docker run. I was kind of, I don't get that. But once it clicked in my mind, it, it was, it was, you know, change, change, change the industry, right? Where you didn't have to understand Linux OS constructs, right? You ran Docker run and it just worked. And that's we want to do that across the whole tool chain. Yeah. Peter McKee, Docker community, Docker developer relations guys, hit him up on Twitter. He's going to be the point. He's going to be putting all these great programs together. A lot of goodness going on in the industry. We're going to hear more of it. I've got a great panel. Sean Connolly, an industry veteran, is hosting a great panel. Innovation happens best in open collaboration. That's our next segment. Enjoy, it's, it's packed with luminaries who are sharing best practices and insight into the future. I'm John Furrier. Peter McKee, your hosts here with Jenny Bercio and Brett Fisher on the Captain's Channel. Here's our next segment, check it out.